Welcome to Chase Terrace Academy. My name is Stuart Jones and I'm the Executive Head Teacher of the school. Thank you for taking an interest in Chase Terrace Academy. We understand that choosing the right secondary school, the one that will be the best fit, is a very important decision for you and your son or daughter. Through this presentation, we'll aim to give you a sense of what we are about and to provide you with the information you need. If you have any queries, anything that's not covered, anything that's more specific to your son or daughter, please get in touch and we'll be very happy to help. I'm going to start by providing a brief overview of what's really important to us and a sense of how we work together at Chase Terrace Academy. We pride ourselves in being a very inclusive school where all members of our community can thrive and we aim to inspire our students to be ambitious and to stretch themselves. There are strong relationships across the community here and a culture of cooperation and collaboration. Students look out for each other and staff work very effectively as a team. We work hard to ensure that everyone feels very supported. Working in partnership with parents and carers, we take very seriously our responsibility to help our students to grow in confidence and maturity, developing strong personal values and a good understanding of the world around them, preparing them for adult life. Our broad, creative and relevant curriculum supports this wider development, whilst also providing a very strong foundation of academic knowledge and skills. We have high expectations for our students' achievement. They have challenging targets for their courses, with detailed assessment and tracking in place, and extra support where it's needed. Achieving strongly gives young people confidence and opens opportuni opportunities for their future. Importantly, we keep a strong and sustained focus on preparing our students for their next steps in education and, in a very competitive workplace, into the world of work. Careers education, information and guidance is a distinctive strength of our provision. You may have noticed some changes recently. The school name has changed from Chase Terrace Technology College to Chase Terrace Academy. And there's also a new school uniform and a new dress code for sixth formers. We also have a new senior leadership structure. From September 2019, I've resumed overall responsibility for the school and its outcomes, as was the case prior to 2017. And Nicola Mason, who was previously deputy head teacher, has taken on the new role of head of school. I take the lead in strategic decision making and Miss Mason has the lead responsibility for the day-to-day -day running of the school. Miss Mason and I work in partnership and have a strong shared ambition for CTA and its community. Also from September 2019, Jason Kane started here as deputy head and this has further strengthened an able, experienced senior team. A great deal has been achieved over the past year, especially in relation to the development of a broad and progressive curriculum and a carefully crafted and effective teaching and learning strategy. We also have a highly structured quality assurance framework to ensure that we're able to continue to make improvements. Chase Terrace has had one of the strongest achievement profiles in Staffordshire and that is what we expect here. Over the past 12 months we've seen a stepwise improvement in students learning outcomes with assessment profiles that are significantly stronger than those seen in the previous few years. At GCSE this can be seen in the chart here in the big rises in the number of standard grade 4 passes, strong grade 5 passes and also in the number of high grades at 7 or above. With last summer's examinations fiasco, the national GCSE grade profile strengthened by a larger amount than is typical. Nevertheless, as you can see from the graph above, the improvement in students' attainment at CTA 
was much stronger than the national increase based on the data currently available. We know through comparison with data from previous years that this was a substantial real terms improvement. In the sixth form, A-level grades strengthened last summer by a whole grade per entry. Again, a big improvement from the previous year. Although we don't yet have the national figures for 2020, the profile for both A-level and BTEC courses looks strong compared to national norms. This year, recruitment into our sixth form is up by 40%, reflecting the response of students to the new provision and strategies that have been put in place. In the challenging context of COVID-19, we'll always prioritise the safety and welfare of our school community. We've worked really hard on the new arrangements that have needed to be put in place. Detailed risk assessments and action plans have been created and implemented based on expert advice, and these have been revised as the situation has changed. We've also put in place a strong programme of online teaching and learning to supplement and, where required, replace the on-site provision. And we've received very positive feedback from students and parents. Whatever the challenge, we'll retain our strong focus on helping our students to achieve strongly and on continuing with our ambitious vision for the school. I shall now hand over to Miss Mason, Head of School, to provide some further detail. At Chase Service Academy, we have an ambitious strategy for improvement through a challenging and stimulating curriculum designed to give all learners the knowledge and opportunity they need to succeed in life. The children are at the heart of everything we do and right from the moment that you submit your application, we are working on ways to ensure you feel part of our community and your children are confident and excited to start their next step in their education journey with us. Our children and staff here at Chase Terrace Academy are extremely ambitious and strive to make improvements every day. Our teaching and learning strategy is focused around a cycle of no, do, review. Students and teachers use this strategy for both teaching and for learning. Staff ensure that they know the children really well so that they know what they know. They know what they don't know and they can adjust the learning experience quickly and specifically to move learning forwards in a challenging and supportive way. Students are taught the importance of knowledge and being able to apply that knowledge. Once they are clear about what they already know, we work with them to build their understanding and build their confidence and independence to solve problems. The process of review for both students and staff is important to be able to identify the next step in learning, challenging and motivating students to push themselves to greater depths and demonstrate further understanding. As you will see from our subject video presentations, our staff are really passionate and very knowledgeable. We are a very strong team and we work hard to ensure students feel a significant part of this team. We are currently developing a house system with the support of our student leadership team and Miss Clinton to build an even stronger culture of community. Although you cannot come currently into our school in person, we hope that the virtual tours that you are able to book into will give you a sense of who we are and what we have to offer here. You will be able to submit questions in advance of the sessions so that we can personalise them as much as possible for you. Pastorally, we have a really important structure. Each year group has a head of year and student support officer. The student support officer is a non-teaching member of staff who is able to focus on the essential support that students need throughout each and every day. The year teams work closely with parents to ensure children are happy and settled. Miss Wilson is a key person in your child's transition journey that you will meet during this presentation. She coordinates a range of opportunities for your children to get to know us as a school before they even step foot in the building. And this year more than ever, that will be so important for our children and we recognise this. 
You will hear from some of our children from year seven and beyond of how they found school since returning from the lockdown. Respectful and responsible behaviour is extremely important as a school. We have three very important and simple rules that are underpinned by our strong values of good manners and personal responsibility. At Chase Terrace, we have high expectations for students and staff alike. We always strive to do our very best and push ourselves to be the best version of ourselves. We support students to resolve conflict and build their self-esteem as they prepare for adulthood. Students have a form tutor who's their first port of call at the start of every day. They, get, they will get to know their tutors and will be, build strong relationships as they keep their tutors and pastoral support team right through their school life. Chase Service Academy has developed a strategy for personalised online learning over the recent lockdown period. Staff have been able to develop their practice really quickly to offer online live and recorded lessons and bespoke feedback to students. We have excellent facilities and offer innovative activities to support students, even throughout the current climate. For example, we have ensured all students have been able to access ICT by working with local businesses such as Master Mobile and other schools locally. We've continued our links with primary schools and parents by using virtual platforms, even doing orienteering in school, which has been organised by a virtual platform. Our careers provision is a model of excellence across the country and students get exceptional support to prepare them for further education and the world of work. Ultimately, we want the same as you all. We want our students, your children, to leave with the best life chances possible to succeed in whichever career path they choose and importantly to enjoy the journey. I really hope that you enjoy the presentation please tune in to watch the subject specific videos which will give you a flavour of what lessons will be like for children in year seven and beyond. I look forward to seeing many of you in the online tours in the coming days. Thank you for listening from all of us at Chase Terrace Academy. Hello, my name is Olivia. Hello, my name is Archie. Hi, my name is Annabelle. Hi, my name is Emily. Hi, my name is George. We're the student leadership team and we'll be showing you around the school. Guten Tag, ich heiße Herr Lancet und ich bin Leiter der Fachschaft für Fremdsprache at Chase Terrace Academy. Hey, bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Scholes. Je suis sous-chef du département de langue ici à Chase Terrace Academy. Je serai aussi head of year pour les sixièmes l'année prochaine. Ici, à Chase Terrace, la moitié des élèves apprennent le français et la moitié l'allemand. So, bei uns in Chase Terrace Academy lernt die Hälfte des Jahrgangs Deutsch, die andere Hälfte Französisch. Et on continue avec la même langue pendant trois ans. Et on apprend des thèmes comme la famille et les amis, le sport et les passe-temps, le collège, là où j'habite et les vacances. So, in den ersten drei Jahren bei uns lernt man Themen wie Familie und Freunde, Sport und Hobbys, Schule, die Stadt, in der man wohnt und die Ferien. Et les élèves qui veulent continuer so, nach drei Jahren ist Deutsch ein Wahlfach, also wenn man weiterlernen will, dann kann man das. En cinquième, normalement, on organise un voyage scolaire en France où on visite une boulangerie et une ferme où on élève des escargots et on apprend un peu la culture française. Il y a aussi un échange avec le Limousin au centre de la France 
pour les élèves de 3e et 4e. So, in Klasse 8 fährt man nach Deutschland und bleibt in einem schönen Hotel am Rhein. Man besucht ein Schloss, viele Städte, ein Freibad und am letzten Tag Phantasieland. In Klassen 9 und 10 gibt es einen Austausch nach Deutschland, Niederkassel, das zwischen Bonn und Köln liegt. Das ist auch fantastisch. Et si vous avez une préférence de langue, il faut le signaler à Madame Wilson une fois que vous avez votre place à Chase Terrace Academy. Also, wenn man entweder Deutsch oder Französisch wählen möchte, muss man im Voraus eine E-Mail an Frau Scholes oder Frau Wilson schicken. So. Au revoir et à l'année prochaine. Schön mit euch zu sprechen. Auf Wiedersehen. Hallo. Hallo. Ich heiße Archie. Und ich heiße Harry. Ich bin zwölf Jahre alt. Ich wohne in Burwood. Wir lernen Deutsch in Chase Terrace Academy. Deutsch ist fantastisch, weil eine Fremdsprache nützlich ist. Und die Lehrer sind gut. This is the student ent entrance where students will enter the school. You can also access many places of the school from here. In Key Stage 3, we studied an exciting array of texts. We have some very vibrant choices. Um, so the texts are really diverse, really distinct across the year groups and really challenging. Knowledge organisers are the key to success. Uh, this is the year seven, first knowledge organiser and a lot of homework is centred around this. You'll have a clear overview of the year in your English book so you'll always know which text you're on, where you've been, where you're going to and how you're progressing through the year. So everything's crystal clear for you and your parents. There's no need to worry about setting in English here at CTA. In year seven, you're all in mixed ability sets in your form groups. So don't worry about the demands or the challenges of setting arrangements for that first year. We just want you to embed and settle in with us and enjoy your English. I just want to inform you about the English at CTI. It is amazing. First year, we had a form group which reassured me because I didn't really know a lot of people in this. But then once I got to know everyone, since year eight, we got mixed and I've learned in French. It's not, the subjects is not as hard as you think it is. During year seven, we do this thing called Accelerated Reader. Um, it's like you read books and you do quizzes on them and it's really fun because you get to explore new material. And then towards the end of the year we do creative writing where it, you have more like an independent study almost. It's like you have more freedom. Freedom <laughs> with what you're writing about. At Chase Terrace we believe that reading is the key to learning. The accelerated reader programme is used to engage all year seven pupils in active reading and helps us monitor their reading progress throughout the year. English teachers, form tutors and our wonderful librarians support the pupils in their reading journey. We encourage and expect all Year 7 pupils to read for a minimum of 25 minutes per day and quiz on the books they have read regularly. AR offers a great opportunity for our pupils to develop as readers and compete for amazing rewards. At Chase Terrace Academy, the Drama Department is part of the Performing Arts Department and works very closely with the Music Department. In Drama, we aspire to build self-confidence and critical thinking by equipping students with a range of dramatic and analytical skills. Students in Drama develop an understanding and empathy for the issues of the wider world as well as an appreciation for the Performing Arts. The curriculum throughout all key stages provides an opportunity for students to develop as performers through workshop, in-house training and performance opportunities, leaving students fully supported to pursue a career in the performing arts 
or to use their transferable skills in the wider world. In the drama department, we are very proud of our strong link with Chase Terrace Academy's alumni and the opportunities this provides our current students to develop their skills with the industry professionals. My name is Mr Till and I'm the teacher in charge of music here at Chase Terrace Academy. I'd like to take a few moments to introduce you to the department. Music is part of the Performing Arts Faculty and works very closely with drama in the sixth form and on a range of extracurricular activities. The department boasts two large teaching rooms, each with small practice rooms to the side. Keyboards and percussion instruments are available for the students to use. Additionally, we have two Apple Mac computer suites and a purpose-built recording studio. At Key Stage 3, all students receive timetable lessons in music, where we cover a range of musical styles, including pop and rock, blues, samba, as well as classical music. All students are given the opportunity to perform and compose their own music, either individually or in small groups, and to listen to a wide variety of musical genres. At Key Stage 4, we follow the BTEC and RSL syllabus, allowing students the opportunity to develop their understanding of performing skills and to develop their musical knowledge and understanding of the music industry. The students will also be given the opportunity to use the recording studio to complete the recording unit. The music department offers a wide range of extracurricular activities, whether this is students using the department during lunch times to work on individual rehearsal or as part of a larger group working towards a larger project. Within the department and the faculty at large, we have end of term concerts at Christmas and summer terms, as well as a large scale musical production at Easter. As well as this, we host the annual Big Sing event, which has been running now for several years. Here at CTA, we are also incredibly proud of our sign language choir, who have performed at a range of events for both deaf and hearing audiences. 
we were delighted to have been selected to compete in the 2020 UK National Signing Choir Competition in London. Instrumental tuition is provided for those students who wish to learn. This is through our own Chase Terrace Music School, where professional teachers are brought in to deliver first-class instrumental and vocal tuition. The lessons are delivered on a one-to-one -one basis and are carried out in the evening, ensuring students do not miss any lessons during the day. This is one of our food hubs where you can collect a range of hot and cold snacks and beverages. This is the library. Your English reading classes will take place here. You can also come here at break, lunch and after school to do your homework. Hi and welcome to Chase Terrace Academy Science Department. Um, you'll be listening to a few of our students in a moment about what they think about science, but um, I just want to introduce myself first. I'm Mr Mulvey, I'm one of the science staff at uh, Chase Terrace. Um, the key thing that sets our science department apart from all other science departments um, around about is the fact that we really care and have a deep understanding of children's education and where they've come from at Key Stage 2. We spend a lot of time focused on what they must have learnt at Key Stage 2 and bringing that through into Key Stage 3 and building upon it so they have a good solid understanding such that they can read media for example and they're not caught up in the misunderstandings they understand what's going on in the world around them that's our key aim in key stage three so when they come to us in year seven we go over key areas of science like um, living cells like electricity and um, forces we look at all the foundation subjects in year seven and eight to ensure it gives them a firm foundation moving forwards into Key Stage 4. So what do you think about science at Chase Terrace Academy? What, what would you like to tell parents and prospective students about our science department guys? Um, I think science is really good at explaining in detail um, all about um, how the world works and how our body functions and it's just a load of fun and exciting good. and we learn something new every lesson. Brilliant, thank you. What about practical work? We do that don't we? I personally do practicals because it lets me experiment in ways I never thought possible. I enjoy practicals because they let me have something to look forward to in the day. Thank you very much. Anything else you want to add? Yeah. Overall, science is one of the best lessons to <laughs> test that. Superb <laughs> comment, love it. <laughs> and that was some fantastic words from our students, just three of them, but I could have brought in so many more students and I'm sure they would have been saying the same thing. In year seven, uh, children are taught in mixed ability groups and then they're setted in year eight um, and in year nine we start looking at the GCSE course and give them a foundation ready to springboard into their GCSEs of which when they get into year 10 they can choose either combined science or they can choose the three separate sciences. To support them in that learning we also do booster sessions after school as well um, for our GCSE students and our A-level students the year seven and eight are able to come along to a, a science club, which is um, great. They always want to blow stuff up and we're always trying to get them not to blow stuff up. Um, and then we, we get them into A-level and coming into A-level in science is, is very exciting. We, we love seeing the students who come back to us from GCSE into A-level. They get to do all three sciences, physics, chemistry and biology. And this year we're actually able to put on a new BTEC applied science course as well, which is proving to be very popular with students. After A-level, many of the destinations that our children go on to um, are things like engineering, veterinary science, um, astrophysics, biochemistry, environmental science. So we really do encourage them to pick up those sciences at university um, and forge forwards. So in year seven, uh, 
a chase toast. We start with a core program, which teaches our students the visual elements and the core skills they need in order to develop uh, and advance in the curriculum through years eight, nine, uh, and then on to GCSE and high level. Uh, the core program focuses on things like drawing skills in a range of media, painting, there would be some exploration of artists, so we try to include lots of reference to contemporary artists and photographers. And it's all about exploring ideas whilst developing a good foundation of skills. The art department has four purpose-built art rooms, uh, which are really well equipped for a range of different activities from printmaking, painting, drawing, uh, to taking photographs. We have two of the rooms are set up with studio lighting equipment and backdrops and we have a suite of 15 max in each of those rooms around the outside of the room which we use for the delivery of the animal photography course. Uh, all of the staff are well versed in a range of media, well the whole range of media, that we explore anything from textiles to drawing, painting, photography, digital media uh, and as a result we generate really good outcomes and results from our students. In Key Stage 4 at GCSE, we follow the OCR Arts and Design course for Fine Arts and we use that to explore a range of different media and examine different artists along a really wide range of different themes. It might include anything from drawing and painting to textile pieces, photography, uh, printmaking, with a focus on developing imaginative ideas and skills and then building towards some really ambitious final outcomes. The Key Stage 5 course for us, uh, again, is very similar to the Key Stage 4 course. Again, it's through OCR and it's a development of that. So we would ex uh, explore the same sort of core skills and practices, develop ideas in a very similar way uh, and produce, again, imaginative and ambitious outcomes. At A-level photog for photography, we uh, again use an OCR specification. It's structured in a very similar way to the A-level art and GCSE art. Again, it's all about exploration and development of ideas. We take most of our pictures using, using studio lighting and DSLRs, and then we edit them uh, in Photoshop using the Macs to kind of enhance and bring the best out of the imagery. In terms of results the school generates uh, at GCSE, Every year we, tend, we get between 97 and 100% uh, A star to C, or currently 9 to 4. Uh, at A level for art, we get 100% A star to uh, C, and again at photography, 100% A star to C, and we produce some really ambitious and professional looking work. Hello, I'm Mr Doughton, I'm the Head of Computing and Business at Chase Terrace Academy. In the school we've got five dedicated IT rooms and you study IT or computing from Year 7 and you have the option to carry that all the way through to Year 13 at A-level if you wish. We study a range of topics and in Year 7 we try to bring everyone up to speed because we recognise that everyone's come from different backgrounds and has different experiences so we make sure that everyone's able to access technology across the subject and also across the school before we begin. We then go on to learn computer programming and we look at other topics such as how technology has impacted on the environment and those around us, we look at internet safety and then we start to broaden our horizons and look at how technology works in other subjects such as business for example and we learn about financial education and how that can impact on your future. At GCSE we offer ICT and computer science as discrete subjects. ICT is really the study of how you use computers and how you can be creative with them. And computer science is the study of how computers work and how we program them. We use a number of programming languages from year 7 upwards including Small Basic, Visual Basic and then eventually C Sharp. We offer a range of pathways right through the school from Year 7 all the way to Year 13 so you can continue your study of IT, computing or business should you wish. We look forward to seeing you at the school.
we hope they find the RE department a space in which they can delve into their beliefs and expand their understanding of others. In Year 7, we ensure all students gain a strong foundational understanding of the six major world religions. They will act as a springboard for the exploration of the key philosophical and ethical questions relevant to our community and the wider world. In Year 8, we study issues such as human rights and we look at key figures within the human rights field. People such as Martin Luther King and Malala. In Year 9, we look at more ethical issues. So we look at things such as how we should we treat animals and why should we care for the environment. It is our goal that in our way, all of our students feel valued and respected. Through their study in our way, our students learn to confidently articulate their own beliefs as well as being encouraged to be open-minded, inquisitive and empathetic towards others. We now have a few students to talk about their experiences in RE. What do you enjoy about RE at Chase Terrace? I enjoy the discussion element of RE where we talk about our points of view and listen to each other's opinions. What is an RE lesson like? An RE lesson isn't boring as you'd imagine. It's fast paced and really quite exciting when you find out you're doing exciting topics like inspirational people like Ronaldo. What has been your favourite or most interesting topic in RE? Definitely inspirational people. What advice would you give to a new student joining Chase Harris? Smile and be happy because you're going to have lots of fun. What is the most important thing you have learned in RE? The RE isn't just for people who believe in God. What do you enjoy about RE at Chase Terrace? I enjoy learning the different practices using different religions and understanding the meaning behind them. What is an RE lesson like? An RE lesson is upbeat, enlightening and sometimes even surprising. What has been your favourite or most interesting topic in RE? <laughs> My favourite topics are the ones where the answer isn't just yes or no, you have to find the information to support your argument. What advice would you give to a new student joining Chase Terrace? I would say even though change is scary, sometimes change can be really good. What is the most important thing you have learnt in RE? Um, definitely to be more aware of my surroundings and what's going on in the world. And finally, of all the religions you have studied, which one is your favourite and why? My favourite religion has to be Judaism because of all the celebrations they have. Hi, I'm Mr Ray, Head of Geography here at Chase Terrace. I think it would be more appropriate if um, if our students were to tell you all about geography rather than listening to a staff. So this is over to the students now. I like geography quite a bit because it lets you learn about different aspects of our own country and the world we live in to the current day. I enjoy geography at Chase Terrace because it's interactive and lets you get involved with all like uh, all things around the world. It's very fun and informative, it's very eye-opening so you can see like what the future might be. Geography is interactive, it's informative and so enjoyable. Um, they're insightful and educational and there's a variety of learning techniques to accommodate for each child. Probably climate change because it's happening around us every day. So um, it's like interesting to see how it will affect different generations. Definitely climate change. I just think it's really interesting. It gives you a view, which in most subjects you don't get. You get to see what you can do to help, how you can fight against it. Um, and you're being valued because there's new ideas coming every day to save the world. Hi, my name's Mr. Fuchs, and I'm the head of history here at Chase Terrace Academy. Just want to tell you a little bit about the department, first of all. Uh, we're staffed by four members of staff who are all history specialists and we have three dedicated history rooms. Um, the kind of topics that we do, especially in Year 7, are all outlined on documents like this that you get when you come to the school and this is actually on the website as well. So this is what we call like our learning journey or roadmap, basically. So in Year 7, when you join us, you'll start looking at a local history study, which is the Anglo-Saxon Staffordshire Hall which was found about five miles from here in 2009. Uh, that links us nicely into looking at the life of Anglo-Saxons in England and uh, we do that investigation for the first half term, basically. After the first half term, the Anglo-Saxon period merges into what we know as the Norman period and we start looking at the build-up of things like the Battle of Hastings and who should be king of England. Now, 
if we carry on going through uh, the Lord and journey, you'll see that basically throughout year seven, we look at the medieval period in this country. The medieval period came in after the Battle of Hastings and it's how William the Conqueror changed England, essentially. Our curriculum then goes through year eight and year nine in a very chronological way. Uh, within that, we build up lots and lots of different skills to use for GCSE. And the reason why we've chosen the chronological approach like this uh, is because it feeds in very nicely to the GCSE. For example, throughout year eight, you look at the Tudors, which uh, directly uh, leads on from the uh, Norman period. And then by year nine, we get into the 20th century. And that is all about the build up of World War I and uh, the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. By the time year 10 comes around, GCSE starts and we actually look at World War I and the build up of the Nazi Party at GCSE as well. We followed the AQA course and um, part of the AQA, as well as the World War I stuff and the Nazi study, is actually medicine from the year 1000 to the modern day and uh, Elizabeth. First, which harks back to the year eight work that we did. Then in year 12 and 13, there's opportunities to stay on A level and look at um, British history, again, which links nicely in with our year eight work that we do, and also Italy, uh, the rise of fascism, which links nicely into the German side of things in year nine and at GCSE. So it's a very well thought out curriculum. Uh, with chronology at its heart, but with lots of skills being developed all the way through. Uh, we've also got some students willing to talk to um, you about their findings about history and what they like about the subject. So I'm going to hand over to them now. Any questions about our subject, please feel free to get in touch with me. Thank you. Enjoy learning about history because it's interesting to see how we've evolved over the years. History lessons aren't uh, are interesting and interactive. They're not just sitting there writing down dates and learning them. You can debate and make artwork and it all forms an enjoyable lesson. Uh, year 7s can expect true historic facts about famous events and evidence to prove these points. They can also expect a teacher who is enthusiastic and ready to teach a right lesson. This is another one of our hub areas. If you have a school locker then it will be located in this area. Hello, welcome. I'm Mr. Brown. I'm the head of maths. I'm going to tell you a little bit about maths at Chase Terrace, but rather than listening to me tell you all about it, um, I've chosen some students who've been here just a year now. So if you're a student and you're watching, they're exactly in the position that you're going to be in soon. They were in that position last year. And just through this door over here, I've got them waiting to tell you all about it. How did you find it? start it was a, bit, a bit tough as probably everyone feels a bit nervous because it's your first day but if you get to know everyone all the teachers it's really fun and how about maths then how did you find it coming to your first maths class i really enjoyed it because one of my favorite lessons is maths and the teachers if even if you're struggling on anything they will come and help you which is good when we first joined i didn't like maths at all in primary school so i was like really scared because i thought it's going to get worse and worse it was actually quite easy because the teachers are really supportive and they talk to you a lot. That's brilliant, so it wasn't as scary as you thought it was going to no. be. Oh, that's really good. How did you find it compared to primary school? In primary school, I used to find it a bit easy, but now in secondary school, the teachers can push you and so you learn more stuff instead of just being bored. Uh, what do you do if you find you're doing something you're really stuck in? Um, just have a good go at it, and if you don't get it after that, just ask your teacher and your teacher's more than welcome to help you. The maths teachers like here, are they really strict and horrible? Uh, well, the first one was kind of strict, but quite a lot of them were fun and not as strict. And help you a lot with your work. Yeah, all teachers do that. What do you say to somebody then coming to do maths at Chase Terrace that's um, not been here before? I would say um, 
look forward to it, get to know the teachers a bit more and just enjoy yourself. There's plenty of fun activities to have been done. What do you say to somebody who is coming to maths first time ever at Chase Terrace? Don't stress too much about it because that's hard to do. Well, I hope you found that informative and useful. Let me pick up then very briefly on a couple of the questions that I'm very often asked when parents come to open evening. Um, first of all, we're really fortunate here to have a team of specialist maths teachers in every maths post that we've got. Sadly, that's not always the case in schools these days. Um, we really feel that having specialist maths teachers helps us to support students. Those who find maths difficult and need the extra support, we can really help. Um, those who want the extra challenge, which hopefully is all of them, we can really bring them on in their maths at whatever level they've got to. Um, and we find specialist maths teachers teaching maths all day we really enjoy doing that. We're really excited about maths and we want our students all to be excited about maths. Um, also, for a similar reason, we put students into sets straight away when they join us, broadly into ability-based sets. Um, we find that teaching maths mixed ability at the beginning of Year 7, um, historically we found that often that leads to students just becoming a bit disillusioned, maybe plateauing out a little bit, not making the progress they'd like to, and becoming perhaps unexcited about maths where they've enjoyed it before. And we want students to enjoy it right from the outset. We want to build students' confidence, so by placing them into broadly ability-based groups based on their key stage two results, we can nurture and bring on those who find maths a challenge, we can encourage people to really enjoy it, we can build students' confidence, we can make sure everybody from whatever position they're at really moves on in the subject and hopefully gets stuck in and really enjoys it right from the beginning. Now if there's a question that I've not answered that you wanted to ask, do please get in touch, otherwise enjoy your virtual tour. two sports halls, a fitness gym and a swimming pool. We also have a large amount of fields. Everybody. Welcome to Chase Terrace Academy uh, Sports Department. We're looking forward to seeing everybody in September. We've got some fantastic facilities here. Uh, I'm sure you've had a look already at some of them on video. We've got the sports hall, the swimming pool, the tennis courts and our wonderful playing fields. Um, we want you to get in as involved as you possibly can in every PE lesson, enjoy what you're doing and reap all the benefits of physical activity. the design and technology block. Students will come to this area of the school multiple times a week for their tech lessons. Tech lessons include food tech, woodwork, resistant materials and textiles.
Welcome to the Design and Technology Department. Uh, my name is Mr. Tennant, I'm the Head of Technology here. Now take a look around you, even in your own home, and have you ever fully considered that every single product around us has been designed by someone? Each item designed for a particular purpose, with materials carefully chosen based on their properties, shaped and formed using specialist tools and equipment, marketed and adapted to appeal to different people's needs and senses. Now that is what design technology is all about here at Chase Terrace Academy. We're excited to welcome you to our broad and varied range of subjects that we have. Uh, when you come in year seven, you can expect to be taught food, uh, graphics, resistant materials, and textiles. So let's take a tour around the building now, and our specialist teachers can show you what's in store for you in year seven. Hi, and welcome to Food. My name is Mrs. Poom, and I teach Chase Terrace. Um, when you come in year seven, you'll have an opportunity to do a 12 week rotation of food that involves both theory and practical work. Uh, things we do in practical include things like fruit crumble, fruit salad. We also do um, a pizza, bread based pizza. We do a little project where you get to make a little breakfast uh, dish of your choosing. Uh, and we're going to learn lots about hygiene and safety and equipment and nutrition um, and hopefully you'll have lots and lots of fun. All right, looking forward to seeing you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. So this is one of our resistant materials workshops. Um, in here in year seven, we would have you designing and making your own handheld uh, game uh, based on a particular need for a particular user group. Uh, so you'd be working generally through the booklets that we have for each, uh, each project. Uh, and within resistant materials, we're using woods, metals and plastics. Some parts of these designs you'd be doing by hand, and with other parts you'd be using uh, our computer-aided manufacturing and computer-aided design uh, programs to help man manufacture the middle parts of that game. Welcome to Textiles, I'm Mrs O'Connor and in Year 7 Textiles you'll get to design and make your own monster soft toy. We'll introduce you to using the sewing machines where you can pass your driving test. We'll do some lots of hand skills, hand embroidery, learning about buttons and sequins, how to add them on. Um, and you will get to take your monster home with you at the end. We we'll look forward to seeing you in September. In year eight, you'll get to use the sewing machine a lot more where you'll make your own pair of pajama shorts that you'll get to take home with you. And in year nine, we learn a lot more about decoration techniques, how to add color and pattern and print to fabric, um, where you'll get to customize your own piece of clothing. Hi, I'm Miss Wilson. I'm one of the assistant head teachers at Chase Terrace Academy, and one of my responsibilities is overseeing the transition from Key Stage 2 to Key Stage 3. We actually start thinking about transition when the children are in Key Stage 1. So, although you may only have started in the last year or so thinking about which secondary school to send your child to, we actually start thinking about that and your child's experience when they're in Key Stage 1 to ensure that our curriculum is suitably challenging and appropriate from whatever starting point they've had. Most of our transition activities occur in year four, five and six. So your child may have already been up to Chase Terrace or we may have gone down and delivered some curriculum enrichment activities down at the various primary schools. Um, so hopefully you have had some experience with Chase Terrace Academy. Just to make you aware, if you weren't already, um, the deadline for application is the 31st of October and there is a link throughout this video so that you can access um, the application form and your place will be confirmed around the 1st of March 2021 and as soon as we get notification if your child is joining us, we will send out a welcome postcard to your child and a welcome letter to parents and carers detailing um, some important information. So we will get that out to you as soon as we can after the 1st of March, usually within the, the same week. Um, last year, the transition was uh, a little bit different due to the COVID-19 situation. Hopefully this year we will be able to run things as we would normally, but the programme that we ran last year was really successful and we managed to mirror all of our normal transition activities. 
So just a quick outline so you know what would e you would expect. So from around April, we would either visit the primary schools and speak to the class teacher and the children within their primary setting, or if we're unable to do that, we can um, do that virtually. So either if they're at school, we can do virtual meet and greets, or we can do that if the children are at home, which is what we did last year. So the children will be familiar with some key members of staff and some of the, the kind of main rules and how the timetable works and all things like that. So we are able to do anything that we would normally do in person virtually if we need to. Normally we have the children up in the summer term for at least one day so they get to meet the rest of their form and their form teacher and spend the day at Chase Terrace. This year we weren't able to do that so the form teachers recorded welcome video messages for their forms so either way they will get that experience and they'll get to meet their form teacher. Um, we always have parent evenings as well so around June time or early July we invite parents into school we deliver some um, presentation from various members of staff and then parents are given the opportunity to ask any questions again last year we managed to do that virtually we ran three separate evenings so that we could keep the numbers small so that the forum was uh, small enough for people to feel that they could ask any questions um, if they wanted to again they were really well received and really well attended we, we are also able to, whether the school is open or not, we can offer one-to-one -one sessions so that if your child perhaps has special educational needs or maybe they are the only child from their primary school or there are other um, reasons why a one-to-one -one session would be more appropriate, then we will do everything we can to facilitate that. Either coming into school and having a tour on your own or um, doing a, a virtual one-to-one -one session um, so no matter what situation we find ourselves in, your children's needs will be accommodated. Um, this year we had a really good wealth of material from each department so that the children over the summer could do some bridging work so that they had their appetites whetted um, for the curriculum for year seven. Um, and it was fantastic to see so many year sevens submitting their work um, either during the summer holidays or bringing it in in that first week. Um, so again, we will do as much as we possibly can in order to get your children prepared for joining us in September. We do offer a subsidised transport service, so if that is something that you would require, then we will get in touch with you closer to um, the time really. Once the children's places are confirmed, you will get some information about that. But please be reassured, no matter what the situation is uh, come March time, whether we are able to be operating completely as normal or whether there are any restrictions in place, we will do everything that we can to make sure that the transition from year six to year seven is as smooth as possible. Um, following on from me, you will meet the uh, incoming year seven's head of year, Mrs. Scholes. So thank you for your time and we really hope that your children uh, choose Chase Terrace Academy. Hi Year 6, I'm Mrs Scholes. I'm currently the Head of Year 11 at Chase Terrace Academy, which means that next year I'll be the Head of Year 7. I look forward to meeting all of you, hopefully in person, but if not virtually, when we start the process of transitioning from primary to secondary school. Enjoy the rest of Year 6 and I look forward to meeting you all soon.